Hey guys, Martin Bennett here from The Loan Room. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about interest rates and how they can go lower. But before we do that, we hope you love our content. So we can continue to deliver more and more content to you guys. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications. Let's get into this. What if I was to say interest rates could go lower? How you might ask, we've got the lowest interest rates of all time. Banks are talking about putting them up. What if I was to say they could go lower? I'm not holding a crystal ball. This is a true possibility. You see, in the world we live today, debt is money. If the world, the banks, the governments stop printing money, stop having people borrow money, which creates an expansive economy, everything collapses in on itself. Because everybody is a borrower today, not just homeowners. If rates go up and stay up, everything collapses in on itself. So this is not to say we're not gonna see a couple of interest rate rises over the next six to 12 months, but I think if you looked at the long-term projection, we could see interest rates go lower, possibly even negative. Can you imagine having almost a 0% rate on your house? People say house prices are at all-time highs. They're at all-time highs because we have all-time low interest rates. So if interest rates went to 1%, meaning that's what you're paying as a borrower, there's no reason why that $1 million home is now not worth $1.5 million or even $2 million. So prepare yourself. Maybe do some of your own research. Look at other countries where they've had negative interest rates. Being prepared is the first step. And think about it. Imagine if interest rates could go lower. I think this is where the market's going. If this topic is of interest to you, or maybe you want to find out a whole lot more, reach out to us here at The Loan Room. We're always happy to help.